it's Nikki with Explorer Chick. I am here with Lindsay with Explorer Chick as well. She is our backpacking expert and will be our guide on our backpacking workshops in Red River Gorge this fall. Um, tonight, as promised, we are going to teach you how to hang a bear bag. Um, it's just one of those things that we are not taught when we are learning how to write our names in cursive. They fail to teach us how to hang a bear bag. So we're going to do that tonight. Um, just a couple announcements. Uh, the first two weekends for the Red River Gorge workshops are filling up quickly. That's September 24th and 25th and October 1st and 2nd. If those are dates you want to get in on, hurry up and sign up. Um, you can sign up at explorechick.com slash adventures. Um, and we are really looking forward to having this happen this fall. It'll be pretty amazing. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to step aside. I'm going to be behind the camera. Um, if you have questions as Lindsay leads us through the workshop, just type them in and I will field them to her and we'll work on getting them answered. As best um, we can. As best we can. <laughs> um, we are at a public park or at Caesars Creek, um, just north of Cincinnati, Ohio. So there may be um, some... some <laughs> some background noise um, <laughs> from the nearby parking lot or you might hear some cicadas so just to give you a heads up um, but yeah please send your questions our way if you're liking what you see go ahead and like and heart and if something's funny hit the little funny emoji we love it <laughs> that's my favorite emoji and exclamation point um, okay so I'm gonna step off I'll be behind the camera Lindsay's gonna take it from here and yeah that's it Sweet. So like Nikki said, just let us know if you have any questions as we move forward. So uh, we're going to talk about bear bags today. Um, most people who think about going into the wilderness have at least a little bit of anxiety about meeting wildlife there. So one of the biggest, metaphorically and physically, um, fears that people have are bears, I think, most of the time. So today, uh, we're going to teach you a, a necessary skill to help avoid meeting bears. As cute and cuddly as they are, we do not want them in our campsites. So, why do we hang bear bags? We hang bear bags because we don't want to meet bears in person, at least not up close. They're kind of cool to see from a distance, and they usually keep, you know, keep a good distance between you and them. They're pretty shy animals most of the time, but they are also extremely curious. So, um, hanging a bear bag, um, basically means that you know you're minimizing the chances that they're going to walk into your camp at night um, so the bear bag we have all of our items down here consists of everything that um, that might draw the curiosity of a bear um, obviously you'll think of food you will uh, think of any uh, flavored drinks that you have in your bag but some of the things that people don't usually think of um, are items that almost everybody carries when they're backpacking. So, um, we have our trusty beef jerky. Everybody carries, you know, some form of sustenance when they're backpacking. So, beef jerky is one of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite snacks to have on the trail. So this always makes it into my bear bag, as well as every other item of food that I have. Because nothing draws a hungry bear quite like having smoked meat in your camp. <laughs> Um, so in addition to your food, you also want to make sure that you put all your food trash in the bear bag because your trash smells just like your food. Even if you can't smell it, bears have as heightened a sense of smell as dogs do, some of them even more. So um, you also want to be sure that you put anything in your bear bag that smells like food. Not just your trash, not just your food. Your utensils, your trusty spork, I know this isn't a spork, it's just a spoon and a knife, but I'm going to call it a spork. Your trusty spork, you know, your camp stove, your, your bowls, anything that you have that smells like food. So, um, we will also want to be sure, and these are items that most people don't think to put in their bear bags. You also, like, 